Hello viewers, you are highly welcome for today's tutorial. On the board we have a question under the process costing. And here we are being asked to calculate the cost of the outputs to be transferred to the finished goods. Here we have process A, process B and process C. So, watch the way I'm going to explain this question, watch the way I'm going to solve this question and I will try as much as I can to break it down for you to have a better understanding of it. Let's proceed. A product passes through three distinct process, processes, A, B, and C, to completion. During the period, 1,000 units were produced and the following information were obtained. So we've been given the information already that was obtained. Now we have a direct cost, process A, process B, and process C, labor costs, process A, B, and C, and direct overhead costs, process A, B, and C. Now, there is an additional information. Always take note of that. Before you start answering any question, ensure you try to know what you have been asked to look for and also check or read carefully the additional information. So it says, indirect overhead expenses for the period were 40,000 naira apportioned to the process of, on the basis of wages. There is no work in process at the beginning. Now, take a look at this. It says, indirect overhead. That means we are also going to so for indirect overhead for the process A, B, and C, we need to know the value. But now they told us that the indirect overhead expenses for the period were 40,000 Naira apportioned. So the moment you see this word apportioned, it means that this 40,000 Naira will be distributed through the different processes that this transaction took place, okay? Now, 40,000 Naira apportioned. Now, where are we going to apportion? For us to know where we are going to apportion this 40,000, let's continue reading. It says, the 40,000 Naira apportioned to the process on the basis of wages. What do we think about wages? Now, whenever we hear wages, I think the next thing that should come to our mind is labor, right? Now, let's go up to the question. We have our material cost, labor cost, and direct overhead cost. So, because of these wages which we have here, and they said it's going to be apportioned, it simply means that we we'll apportion it on the basis of wages, right? with the process A, B, and C transaction under the labor cost. Now, there is no work in progress at the beginning or end of a period. Calculate the cost of outputs to be transferred to the finished goods, okay? Now, there is something we need to do before we start showing the processes in the account. And what we need to do is to solve for the indirect overhead expenses so that we get the value for process A, process B, and process C. Now, see what we're going to do. Now, to solve it, we'll go this way. Process A. Now, we'll show our workings right here. We'll have workings. Okay? So, for process A. Now, how do we solve for process A? Now, we said 40,000. So, what we are going to do, we are going to sum 30,000 plus 35,000 and plus 25,000. Okay? Now, 30 plus 35 gives us what? 65. And 65 plus 25 gives us 90,000. So what it simply means that the total in this process is what? 90,000. Right? This, the total is what? 90,000. So what we are going to do here is this. We say 30,000 divided by 90,000, then times 40,000. Then we're going to have the value for process A under the indirect overhead, okay? So let's go. This is 30 for process A. So, 30,000 over, what is the next? 90,000 times, we are told to apportion with what? The 40,000, isn't it? So we have 40,000 here. Now, we will get our answer. That will be for the process A. Now, for process B. What do we have under process B? We have 35,000. So, we say what? 35,000 divided by 90,000. Now, this 90,000, remember, it was the summation of what we have here, right? Times the 40,000 that we are told to apportion with, okay? So times 40,000, and we'll get our value. Then we'll also come to the last one, which is what? The process C. 
Now for process C, how much do we have under process C? We have 25,000. So we say 25,000 divide by 90,000 times 40,000. Please, I hope you understand what I just did. And I believe you've downloaded this video. So you can always watch it and practice it on your free time. So 30,000 divided by 90,000 times 40,000. It gives us 13,333.3. 13,333.3. Now for process B, we have 15,555.6. 15 and for process C, we have 11,111.1. 11 so what we actually did is this. Now, for the indirect overhead, under the process A, we have 13,333.3. Indirect overhead on that process B, we have 15,555.6. Then indirect overhead on that process C, we have 11,111.1. 11 so having done this, we can now move over to show the process account, which is very, very easy. So let's proceed. Now, I've given us the table already. This is for process A and process B. So to solve for the process C, we're going to rub off what we've written here to solve for the process C. So try as much as you can to follow suit and to copy out something or some details. Okay. Now, process A. Now, what we're going to do under the process A, everything we have here, like the material cost, the labor cost, and the direct cost, they are all going to reflect into our process account. So, we have what? The first thing we have there is our material cost. So, we have what? Material costs and how much is our material cost for process a we have what 50 30 and 15 right so we come down here we have 50,000 then our labor costs for labor costs how much is the labor cost we have 30,000 now direct overhead costs which is the expenses right direct overhead how much do we have there we have what fifteen thousand now we'll come to this one the indirect remember we've solved for it and we've gotten the value already so we say indirect indirect overhead okay indirect overhead expenses and what do we have there under the process a we have what thirteen thousand three hundred and thirty three Point three. So we are going to sum everything we have here. And we also, by the time we sum everything we have here, it gives us a total of 108,333.3. So this is what we have here, okay? Now we'll bring it over to the credit side of our process account. Now coming to this section, what is the total we have here? We have what? 108,000. 333.3 okay now what will be the details here remember they said we should show the process account and as i earlier told us process account is always used in the production or in the company whereby production moves from one process to another now from the process a we have a total cost here of 408,000, which we bring here so coming to this section we is going to be tagged what the transfer to process B okay transfer to process B is what 208,333 now what is the total once you come down here we have what 208,333.3 so that is it about the process A now we we'll come over to process B now what do we do in process B the same thing reflects as well now but before we come down to write these values we are going to bring the transfer which we have from process A to process B. Now, what will it be called? It will now be stated what? Transfer from. Remember here we say transfer to. Transfer to process B. Okay? Now, once we get to this section, it will now be tagged what? Transfer from process A. 
So here we have what? Transfer from process A because the transaction is coming from process A, right? So what is the value there? We have 108,000 108,333.3 Then we we'll continue Material costs Material cost. Now, what is our material cost of process B? We have what? 25,000. So we have 25,000 here. What is our labor cost for process B? We have 35,000. So we have what? Your labor cost. And the labor cost is what? 35,000. Then, direct overhead cost. Direct overhead. So how much is our direct overhead cost here? We have 13,000. Then the indirect overhead as well. Indirect overhead. So what is our indirect overhead? Remember we've solved it here. And for process B, we had what? 15,555.6. So 15,555.6, okay? Now you can see that everything we have here is already in our table. So let's look for the total. So we're going to total now. So the summation of everything we have here gives us 196,888.9. Now coming to this section, this same value comes over to this place. We have what? 196,000. 888.9 so what will it be called remember here we call it transfer to process b at this section we said what transfer from process a now because they told us that the product passes through district um, three distinct processes a b and c to completion so this is a this is b and what is the next transaction process c okay so this will now be tagged what transfer to process now which process is this b so we're going to the next one process c so we'll say transfer to process c it is now this value okay so we'll bring it down 196,000 now process c account remember the way we did the way we solved there here we have transfer from process a which was from the process a we got that value now remember we have transfer to process c so the first thing we have here will now be transfer from Process what? B. So we have what? Transfer from process B. Okay? Transfer from process B. Now, remember, this process C is the last stage. Okay? It is the last process, right? Now, what do we do? They said the period, A, B, C, during that period, 1,000 units. So, at this last section, at this last process, we are going to recognize the unit produced. And the unit produced is what? 1,000 units. So, transfer from process B. Now, what did we transfer? 196,000, 196,888.9. 888.9. So, we are going to recognize our unit produced. So, under the units, we have our unit produced as what? 1,000. Okay? We we'll have our units produced as 1,000. Then we'll continue with the same process that we've been solving the whole while. We we'll have what? After the transfer from process B, the next thing is what? The material costs. Material costs. And what is the value of our material cost under process C? We we'll have what? 15,000. Now, the material cost under process C, we have what? 15,000. The labor costs. Labor costs. Now, under the labor costs, we have what? 25,000. And we have the last, the direct overhead. Direct overhead. And what do we have under the direct overhead in process C? We have 13,000. We have 13,000. Yes. So we we'll continue. Remember the steps and the process I took. Try as much as you can to understand, to practice this video on your free time. 
try as much as you can to practice. Remember, practice makes perfect. So, what is the next thing we have here? After the direct overhead, we have 13, right? The next one is what the indirect overhead expenses. So we have what? Indirect overhead. And how much is the indirect overhead? We have what? We've solved for it. And we have what? 11,000. 11,111.1. This value we have here, right? So what else do we have to do here? Nothing. So we've got to look for the total. So we rule. Remember, we have our units now. So what do we have under our units? We have what? 1,000. And the summation of everything here gives us what? 261,000. Okay? So we'll come over to this place. We'll rule again. Now remember, process C, this is the final stage. Okay? Now let us identify our units. Our unit is what? 1,000. Okay? And what is the total? 261,000. The same thing comes down here as 1,000 and 261,000 Naira. Now, what are we going to call the title? What are we going to label? Now, remember, let's come back to the question again. It says that calculate the cost of output to be transferred to the finished goods stock. This is the last process. So this title is going to be titled, sorry, this section is going to be titled what? Our finished goods. So we have it what? Finished goods. So our finished goods is what? 1,000 at 261,000 Naira only. And that is it about process costing. There is one more video I'm going to give you for under the process costing. Here I'm going to teach you how to get your expected unit how to know your unit produce, the cost per unit, and so on and so forth. So stay tuned. In the next video, the lesson three under the process costing, you will have a lot of things to learn from that video. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? We are here to give you the best to help you academically. Try as much as you can to hurry to our YouTube page and be a subscribed member so that whenever we upload a new video, you get an alert and you watch instantly and you practice. Okay? We wish you the best in all you do. And if you have questions or you need clarification, if there are any steps I took here that is getting you confused, just leave a comment below and my team will definitely get back to you. We wish you the best in all you do and do have a wonderful day. Thank you and God bless. We need your suggestions in order to serve you better. Do us that favor to drop a comment below. Thank you.